Hi everyone, how y'all doing? I hope y'all are doing great. This is Praveen from Team Debro and today's video is going to be about three things that you should know before starting your affiliate block. Welcome to today's video of the three things you should know before making your affiliate block and just like how the title say in this video is going to be literally I'm gonna explain the three things that you should definitely know before you actually start making a affiliate marketing block so don't don't think that it's a uh, clickbait it's not a clickbait it's literally going to be this so let's go ahead and dive in into today's video without wasting any time i'm going to do in a very different fashion guys i'm just going to scroll down first so all right so this is the first thing that you should actually know when you before you start an affiliate block first thing you should know that it does cost money a lot of people might be thinking that you uh, can actually start a blogging career for free definitely it's not 100 percent wrong you can actually start a blogging career for free but if you want to really start making proper money with blogging affiliate blog then you should definitely consider it as a business just like you're running a food stall or for example you're running uh you're running a car wash or something like that you you consider that to be a, a business right the same concept applies here when you want to do a professional blog you better consider it to be as a business as well some people do not consider it as a business they they usually think that it's my passion to write and then stuff like that trust me guys stuff like that won't work passion do not pay you what passion actually does is passion makes those hard work look very very minimal for example you like writing blog and then you uh, you don't like uh you don't like for example recording video for example but then uh, both you have to work in both of these for 12 hours doesn't mean that you just because you write like uh, writing blogs you make more money with writing blogs and you make less money with uh, with the doing video the only thing that means is 12 hours working on writing a blog and 12 hours working on doing a video you will be mentally less tired when you're writing a blog because you personally like to write blog so that is what it does to you passion reduce the mental stress and the mental tiredness that's what it does do not confuse results with sorry do not consume us uh, yes uh, sorry do not confuse results with effort do not confuse results with effort always keep in mind that results is different effort is different doesn't mean that you put 12 hours in something that you like and then the result would be like that it doesn't matter like that so do not get confused yourselves with that so let's get it so like I told you, it does cost money. So change your mindset if you're thinking that you can actually do this for free. Please change your mindset. It does not apply in that way at all. So the first thing is domain and hosting. So uh, a lot of people might be starting their, their blogging career by using free domain like wordpress.com, blogger.com. You can actually do this, but keep in mind that when it's it's actually like a platform to you to actually learn for example like one month you spend on doing a free domain and then you start to move to a real domain where you actually buy and do a professional blog that is how it works first get some experience then you can actually go into a professional blog or you can actually straight away dive into a professional blog but i would highly not recommend you to use a free blogging site for more than one month because first thing is uh, free blogging sites search engine don't like free blogging sites they imagine that if I know that you are not serious uh, if you do not buy your custom domain search engine knows it better so they don't like uh, free blogging sites so they will actually uh, put 
they will rank your blog very very low so in the form of seo you will be ranked very badly uh, when you use free 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 blogs and stuff like that and then it's hard for you to move from a free blog to uh, a paid custom blog once you have actually established traffic you you can't do much because if you want to move for example now you have like 10,000 uh, people monthly unique traffic coming into your website and then you want to move into a professional site trust me you have to start back from a to z again from the beginning so it's really hard to do that so i would highly recommend you to start with a professional custom domain from the beginning and then a lot of people also when i say it does cost money a lot of people also sometimes mistake it all right it's gonna cost me money to buy domains and hosting that's it no it's not like that guys it, it does not end with domain and hosting domain and hosting is definitely something that you should do first but then it does not end with domain and hosting itself there's a lot of other stuff that you can actually go ahead and purchase as well so we're gonna talk about one of these stuff which is buy powerful links so uh a lot of people might be disagreeing with this idea but this is my personal opinion guys so I, I i can't satisfy everybody but a lot of people might be against of the idea of backlinks people uh, prefer you actually build those backlinks organically uh, i don't agree with that because it actually takes a lot of time and even if you know seo it might take a little bit time if you like a, if you're like a master in seo it might take a little bit of time for you to be in that position so a lot of people might just buy backlinks i i do buy backlinks a lot and it does make your website to rank above others as well so if you buy backlink and people who do not have backlink definitely your website will go up as well so you need to buy powerful backlink so all you got to do is just go google and press best websites to buy black uh, backlinks and then they will redirect you to a website that you can actually go ahead and buy good backlinks to make sure that your blog or your post uh, can go up in the search engine very very beaut beautifully but keep in mind that backlink isn't actually something uh, it's not something which is recommended by a lot of people like i told you a lot of people might be against this particular idea but personally this is what i do and i feel this is the best thing to do you should buy backlink guys and also you should do it like consistently you should have a budget for example uh, i'm using like hundred dollars for example monthly to buy backlinks and then when your revenue of your blog starts going up you're making thousand dollars maybe you can actually increase it like now i'm going to use two thousand two hundred dollars to buy backlinks when when it goes to two thousand dollars of revenue i'm going to use three hundred dollars to buy backlinks so it, it works in that particular concept like i told you treat it like a real business all business have uh, things have cost things that you have to do right the thing about digital business is the costing is very low compared to traditional business for a car wash for example you need to pay the water you need to pay electricity you need to pay the rent for the place you need to buy the equipment you need to do a lot and a lot of stuff when it comes to uh, digital uh, digital business such as affiliate blog affiliate blog is a digital business keep that in mind so when it comes to digital business the costing would be much lesser than a traditional business so that is the difference and then keep in mind of these important things i would really highlight this that's why i put it in the bottom because i want to talk about it i want to talk about it at the end invest in yourself the best investment is always when you invest on yourself so what do i mean by it in when you are actually starting to make an affiliate blog you have no idea how to make an affiliate blog go and invest for some training increase your knowledge go for some good trainings use uh online platform such as udemy if you don't know uh, if you don't know udemy you can actually it's an online platform you can actually go here and press seo training and then there will be like a lot of 
good courses you can see the rating which actually offers you a complete seo training so definitely all this i'm not telling all these trainings are worth but definitely it's 100 percent worth it for you to invest in yourself and go and get some knowledge so uh you can use udemy you can go to this guy i i personally like him a lot brian dean i follow a lot of his seo tips so you can actually go to his course and study uh study about seo you can follow this guy over here which is also one of the my favorite bloggers and neil patel these guys are people who are actually making millions per year in revenue with their blogs alone guys so uh neil patel you can actually go to his course and actually learn about seo don't be shy to invest on yourself it's not something wrong it is something that everybody should do definitely it's worth it guys Trust me, uh, I might, I might, you might choose one day, you might go ahead and invest in a wrong course, but definitely there would be at least one thing that you can actually learn from that course. Even though that course bullshit, you will definitely pick up some small, small things which would be very useful for you. I always do that. I actually invest my money, uh, invest my money on this kind of courses, this kind of training a lot, guys, and I learn a lot of stuff. Even even though it seems to be that sometimes the course will be bullshit I still learn few stuff from there and trust me I've been blogging for quite some time and even today when I go to certain course I am constantly learning stuff so don't think this because you have a, a very good background of uh, blogging you know a lot of stuff about blogging you cannot go and learn and increase your knowledge this is a constant this is a constant development type of scheme that you can actually go ahead and constantly develop yourself so there's no need to worry and then you can actually go ahead and buy proper softwares that you can actually use for example there's a lot of software that you can actually uh, increase your potential in blogging it can actually make your life as a blogger very easy guys so you can actually go and uh, go ahead and google the best software and tools to make blogging easy and there will be a lot of stuff coming up so you can go and search but the one that i would highly suggest you is grammarly personally i like grammarly a lot this is the website of grammarly uh it actually whenever you do a wrong spelling whenever you do a wrong pronunciation wrong grammar it will constantly show you that you are doing wrong stuff and the best part is all it requires is just plugin you can add to google chrome and it will be a like a plugin and then it it, it it is very easy to use guys so this kind of software uh grammarly is 20 dollars monthly if i'm not mistaken something like that uh something like that 20 dollars monthly so this kind of software is something that definitely you can go ahead and invest on and you will never regret if you invest on this kind of things which will save a lot of your time definitely that's 100 percent sure and then it will also uh make your blog look pretty neat and it will make because you are actually considering your now you're actually considering your blog as a professional business when you actually consider your blog as a professional business you will definitely go up from all those who just does this for hobby that itself is a big step already so that is the first thing that you got to know night guys that it does cost money the second thing we got to know is learn seo at all costs, guys this is very very important if you don't know what seo is it's called the search engine optimization what it does is seo is like everything when it comes to blogging affiliate blogs when you you have a blog you want your blog to be ranked in google for the keywords that you search that's how people coming into your blog right and you can actually redirect them from other sources like youtube as well but you still need to know your seo even in youtube youtube is a search engine as well from youtube you need to put some keywords and people will watch your videos according to that keyword and they will be redirected to your blog so regardless from where you redirecting uh, the people to your blog you need to know your seo and that is where you can actually go ahead and google about seo learn 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 about seo guys and also when it comes to seo 
I would highly suggest you to create your own strategy. First thing you got to do is definitely you got to learn what SEO is. You got to go Google, you got to go course, you got to know what a fundamental basic step of what SEO is. And then for example, uh, Brian Dean should be saying something about A, like a, a about uh, SEO and Neil Patel should have said something B. So the best strategy for you to do is you combine both of these, you eliminate what you think it's not necessary for you and you input what is necessary for you and create a plan C. So that's how it works. You create your own strategy, which is very, very, very important. Don't not, do not give your whole strategy to somebody that you actually find in Fiverr or SEO clocks. If you see people uh, like that, they, they, they can actually boost the whole SEO. Of course they can do, you can actually uh, give them to do a tiny, tiny little bit of work, but then giving your whole strategy to that particular person is something very, very stupid to do. I do, sorry if I say that, but it's really stupid to do because if that person can actually rank your website like very high, trust me, he should have just ranked his website and earned millions, millions, millions yearly. So he will not be wasting his time with you. So create your own strategy, which is very, very important. Use stuff like uh, calendar, small, small stuff, guys. Calendar, HubSpot. Uh, if you don't know what HubSpot is, HubSpot is just show you what HubSpot is. Sorry, guys. So this is HubSpot. So you can use HubSpot, you can use uh, the calendar to actually uh, simplify your work. You can actually uh, make sure that you do this post today, pre-plan it earlier. So these are the strategies that I use. I pre-plan it earlier. I put like uh, Monday, I do this, Tuesday, I do this, Thursday, I do this, then the next week, Monday, I do this, Tuesday, I do this, stuff like that. So this is very important. And then next one is keep learning, constantly keep learning this is something that i will never change and i'll keep repeating these guys so you have to keep learning and especially when it comes to seo you have you have you have to keep learning which is very 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 important because seo constantly change and nobody uh, there is like I can't say there is nobody, but there's only few people that actually knows everything about SEO. Most probably, uh, a lot of people still don't know certain stuff about SEO and SEO will keep changing according to Google's regulation, YouTube's regulation, which is also constantly changing. So SEO would be constantly changing as well. So what you gotta do is you gotta constantly learn. You gotta keep learning, learn from people, learn from courses, keep learning. Don't forget to learn, don't quit to learn. Don't say, uh, I think I have learned enough. Now it's time for me to do it. Of course, you should actually just do it and then on the process of you doing it learn learn while doing it that's that's the best part and then test and improvise like i told you seo is something that is usually it it changes a lot it will keep changing as the time goes as the regulation change so what you gotta do is you gotta have do some split testing with your blog post itself with your seo tricks so you have your own seo strategy right and then you have to like for example now you're applying a strategy a strategy a is going very well so what you should do is you should keep applying strategy a but you should also test a new strategy which is strategy b strategy b might work and strategy b might not work and strategy b might even beat your strategy a and work better if strategy b works better you use strategy b and then you keep creating a new strategy which is strategy c and then do the same thing again and again and again and again you have to keep doing this guys you have to keep testing and keep improvising this is the way that you're actually gonna rank your website high and you're gonna make crazy amount of money so the last thing that you should know before starting a affiliate blog is you should know about the promotional methods that you are going to use. 
So a lot of people might be thinking that, okay, SEO is good enough. I have SEO, I, I have good knowledge in SEO. I, I am implementing all my knowledge in SEO. I'm writing my blogs and everything. All right, that's enough. No, it does not work like that because bloggers are keep increasing. It's not something which is reducing. They are keep increasing. So there's more affiliate bloggers coming up. There's more bloggers coming out. Your competition is getting high. It's not reducing. It's getting high. Trust me, high, high, high. So when it's getting high, you cannot, you can actually depend on SEO alone, but it will take you a lot and a huge amount of time to reach at that position and you might not even reach at that position but you have to have other promotional methods that you are going to use in within your blog so that you can actually uh create a name for yourself you can actually create an authority for your blog so the first thing that you can actually do is you can actually be a guest blogger you can go and write content for other leaders in your name for example if uh, Deal Patel and Brian Dean calls me to write uh, write an article for them you think I'm, I'm gonna refuse even though it's in their blog because people will know it's written by me Praveen so people will know my name and people will be curious that is people guys so when people know about me then when people read about my blog then people will more people more traffic will come into my blog so guest blocking is very very important you might be thinking why the hell should Neil Patel and Brian Dean call me to write in their blog definitely they will call they will call you to write in your blog if you approach them in a very very correct manner guys I'm not saying that they they 100% will but there's a high chance they will you can actually go ahead email them uh, with your blog post and everything you can actually tell them this is your blog if you're interested just go through stuff like that and then if they go through they are interested they will definitely call you to become a guest blogger in their website or uh, in their website all right the second thing is social media never underestimate or underuse the power of social media the big fb the instagram uh, snapchat pinterest reddit quora all oh, there's so many search uh, social media out there linkedin use all these social media guys use all these social media as a promotion platform for your website don't be shy about it uh, get your blog and then share it in your facebook share it in your instagram if you want to do paid ads with instagram with uh with facebook do it guys don't be shy don't be think oh uh, um, i don't know whether people will enjoy my blog or not uh, my blog is not that good i'm not a that pro that all that crap does not work guys trust me you cannot satisfy if you want you cannot satisfy all the people all the time some people will hate you some people will dislike you so there's no point of uh, satisfying all the people all the time because you can't you can't satisfy all the people all the time people will tend to hate you and people will tend to dislike you regardless of whatever you do so that's hap that happens so all you gotta do is just create more audience that like you than those who dislike you that would be your motive and then you can actually use the influencer marketing and network influencer marketing is one of the best marketing strategy that you should definitely use uh, nowadays even big brands like Starbucks uh, Audi uh, big brands guys I'm talking about huge brands they are using influencer marketers to market their product why do you think they use that if it's not working definitely it should be working right they, they are like the king of marketers they are like a huge brand which exists like 50 years 60 years and they are huge they are billion dollar company and they still use influencer marketer why because it does work so when something works you should apply it as well go and search for influencer inside your niche or maybe a celebrity a local celebrity uh, a local singer which has 
followers which is maybe not so popular but they have like 10,000 Instagram followers uh, 20,000 Instagram followers approach them tell them this is my blog promote my blog tell that you like my blog tell that you read my blog and they will do it they will do it if you pay them money trust me and some people even do it without receiving any money so once you have actually done that your traffic the traffic that will be driving into your website will grow like crazy trust me i've tried influencer marketing and it is definitely the best marketing strategy that you should use and also about networking the faster you build your network the faster your blog grows so for example now uh, you approach a local celebrity to actually promote your blog and then people start reading about your blog trust me you do it with this celebrity and then you stop it doesn't work you do with this celebrity and then you go to another local celebrity all small small celebrity I'm not asking you to go and meet Tom Cruise and ask him to become your influencer marketer all you got to do is meet small small celebrity within that area which actually can drive a lot of traffic uh, which has a lot of followers so keep keep building your network keep meeting people keep talking to other bloggers when you see a beautiful blog starting up give support to that blog go and talk to the editor go and talk to the owner try to approach uh, big big guys in your industry itself talk to them build network if you never you might be thinking why the hell should brian dean and neil Patel even think about talking to me why why Colin should Colin is making millions of money why should he even try to communicate with me but how do you know he won't talk to you unless you try you would know if you don't try right so definitely go ahead and try things maybe uh, Colin would not uh, maybe sorry maybe Brian or Neil Patel might not answer you but then Colin would answer you so things work like that uh, when there's there's a strategy that we actually do with startups when you actually pitch your startup to fund for fundraising you pitch your startup with 100 investors if you pitch your startup with 100 investors only one investor will be interested to fund your 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 startup so that is a simple concept that we apply in startup that you should actually apply in your blog as well because blog is a professional business you should consider it as a business and if you consider it as a startup this influencer this uh, big guns are something like a funder for you when it comes to blog so by meeting them email them email them give them good content don't spam them guys that's different email them give them good content one day when they answer your email you will be rocking guys so trust me it works so you will never know if you never try so definitely go ahead and try all these techniques so these are the three things that you should definitely know before you start making your affiliate marketing blog are you struggling with your affiliate marketing business or want to take things to the next level allow me to introduce you to dice university dice university is the number one affiliate marketing training platform in the world whether you're a beginner or an advanced affiliate marketer, Dice University offers you thousands of different videos with topics such as Facebook, volume, adplexity, and many more of your favorite topics. Step by step, you will learn the secret super affiliate ways to get the most out of each traffic source. Dominate each vertical with our detailed quick start guides. Are you ready to get started? Click the link in the description to sign up today.